Hey guys, so you guys want to know how to use uh, 60 FPS patches on the original PS3 hardware using, uh, you know, whatever I use. So I'm finally here to show you how to do it. Um, I completely forgot how to do it. I've had to reteach myself to reteach to teach you guys. And uh, I've done this as fast as possible, but I've had a strike on my channel, so I've had to wait until I can upload this. But it's here, it's ready. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, and because I'm using my phone, because I don't have a capture card that will get past the PS3 to HDCP screen security, I'm just going to record my screen using this and then record the PS3 using this. Record the PS3 screen using this because it's the only way I can get display the PS3 and the PC without fucking capture cards and shit. What PS3 won't let me use. So, anyway, let's get to it, shall we? So first thing I want to do is uh, get onto your PlayStation 3 hardware. However, I want to use FileZilla, open your PS3, go to Hard Drive, Packages, and get, I want to delete it, but this will be in the download in the comments, it's uh, Artemis R5, make sure it's the R5 version, I could, and the download I give you, because I could not get R6 to work for some reason, I don't know why. Um, uh, this, this, this. Wait, I'm starting to co copy over. Uh, so, next thing you're going to do is go over to your PlayStation 3. Uh, make sure you have Multi Man installed, I mean Web Man installed, so you can check your FPS. This is what I'm going to do now. So, in order to check your FPS when Web Man's installed, hold down both R3 and L3. FPS enabled, and then you'll see it come up top. R3 and L3, both analogs. Hold them in, or tap them in. I don't remember. Whatever. Just push them in anyway. Anyway, um, so then go into packages, install hard drive. I mean PlayStation 3 system storage, and then install the Atomist that you put in there with your USB or whatever. I'm guessing if you're modding PS3s, you know how to install a package at least uh, so there we go and then open up Artemis just to make sure all your files are going to be in the place they need to be uh, so then we can find them and make sure everything's okay okay let's build it up let's quit the game and then go across to our computer give me a second Okay, once you're on your computer, go into HDD0 game and look. Well, it's not here, but it should it should be called Artemis 0. Um, hold on, let me let me find it. Go back to PS3 if you've got the same problem as me. If the folder's not showing up, go into Multiman. Uh, right, and then you go into so HDD game at PS3001. So then you go to you go to back to your three, I mean to PS3, and then we do a uh, and then we do one of these forward forward uh, dash, and then we go so then we type in that at PS3001. I think that works. The name of the folder. No. At PS3 0. At PS3 0, 0, 1. Uh, At PS3 0, 0, 1. Yeah. Let me try it with capitals. PS3 one. There we go. We're in. Sometimes it doesn't show up, so you have to type in the name of the directory yourself. So once you've got it, in game. Oh, sorry, it's gone now again. Object forward at PS3001. Okay, we're in now. 
and then click on user the user list and then look for the name of the game so mine's kingdom arts 2 like like i showed you guys so mine's the no it's not that one uh the, the blus 31460 and then uh go to your desktop on this one or wherever your desktop is and just uh, drop that, download that Kingdom Hearts into there. There we are. So then, once we've got that, you can see here how it should look. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it. We're going to get this code that we want. So not not every game has 60 FPS codes, by the way. Open RPCS3, do the style, whatever. Then go on game patches. Wait, I'll show you correctly. Manage game patches. Oops manage game patches and this will come up type the name of the game I'm going Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.5 plus 60 FPS right click show the patch file and it'll come, then it'll, the folder will come up just in the background open patch.yTML with notepad um, and then, so this is the whole list of cheats actually so you just want to search for what you want, you can rather click uh, edit find or press control F and type in the name of what you're looking for. So I'm looking for Kingdom Hearts, that's 1.5, so we need to keep, keep pressing find next. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, that's 2.5, so here we go. 2.560 FPS codes, so you don't want the B3-2, you just want these, this code here. Nothing before it, nothing after it, 60 FPS, copy, close that off, and open the, the cheat file you got from your Artemis location on your PS3. So you need to keep, you need to keep that, that uh, hash you need to keep the name and the zero and that high. So we're going to get rid of. We're going to first thing we're going to do is change the name because I don't want this code anywhere. So you can just re, you can make the code yourself and use the hash and the zero. But for easiness, I'm just going to do this all over a different cheat. So between the hash and the zero, I'm going to put 60 FPS, and I'm going to click on the H, press Enter. And press Control V, or press you can you can press uh, paste on your keyboard. So first thing we want to do is make this code look like these codes. So that would be getting rid of this X. So cross that off space. There we go. Get rid of this hyphen or whatever it's called, and then get rid of that X and the zero. There we go. So these are not my code. So get rid of all them, and there we go. It looks like it's got the it's got the it's got the uh, zero between the name and the high and the code, and it's got the hash on top. And then what you do is save the file, go on to FileZilla or however you are, and just grab that code you made. As you can see, it's got the 60 FPS, and then drag and drop it into the PS3's art user the user list folder. Drop it in there. Over right, there we go, and then switch back to PlayStation 3. Once you've put the code in there and overwritten, uh, just go to what I'm going to do is just go back to the uh, straight to the PlayStation 3's home. Um, as you can see, I've still got the FPS counter up from pressing le uh, left, left analog and right analog in. So now I've got Artemis. I'm gonna click on the game and put it already ready to go. You can do it afterwards, I believe, but I'm just gonna do it before. So there we go. So then we're gonna go on Artemis R5. Go into that. Oh, wait a minute. I think it just went into Kingdom Hearts. Yes, it did. Sorry, let me just uh, jump out of that. I didn't mean to click on that. I thought I clicked on Artemis. 
Okay, we're back here. Do it right this time. Artemis, R5. You'll know it's the correct Artemis if it's got that logo, which is different from the new one. And then click on Cheeks. It might look like expression when you click on Menus. And it's just loading. Press the right directional pad to scroll faster. If you press down, it takes a long time, so just press the right D-pad. It'll skip through all this a lot faster. Uh, I'm also sorry this has took me so long to make, but I completely forgot how to do this. And I've had a strike on my channel recently that stopped me from uploading, so a lot of videos are going to come out at once. Um, so that's it, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Plus. Click on that. If all goes well, it'll load, and then we'll have a 60 FPS. So then press X and then square. I do constant, I don't know why, I just do. Press circle, you'll know if you've selected it because that dash will be there. That little arrow. Press circle again. Click start game. It'll beep and then take you back to the XMB. Once you're in the XMB, click on your game, however you may do it. Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has like a, a menu before the game where you select what game you want but uh, whatever game you start it'll come up with this when your cheats have been found and are able to use Artemis for start to attach FPS counter still up there yeah uh, I'm sorry again that it took me so long to do this tutorial, but uh, it's been uh, a long time since I've done it, and I'm not looking forward to learning it all again. And I didn't think it would uh, get that popular, to be honest. I didn't think a lot of people would care, but you know. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for your interest in my uh, Artemis is ready to attach. Don't do anything yet until you're in game. To be safe. I'm gonna skip all the way until I get into the gameplay first. And then we can see that then you can tell that we're running at 30 before I do it. Hopefully this will make help uh, encourage people into making 60 FPS. 60 FPS patches. So as you can see here, it's a bit slurry, it's not great. It's, uh, 30 FPS. So then, when you're ready, what you want to do is press the uh, PlayStation button in, wait till everything's loaded, then press the start button, start button in. It'll set attached and wrote. And you can instantly see that 60 FPS is now unlocked. And the game is like so much smoother, so much smoother. Um, so you're in, and then you quit the game however you want. So that's how you install 60 FPS cheats or any cheats from uh, RPS3, RP, RPCS3 into the original hardware using uh, Artemis. Um, I hope this helps someone. If it helped you in any way, or it was fun to watch, please leave a like subscribe if you're into this stuff and you want to see more and uh, thank you guys so much for your interest thank you for watching my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video I'm sorry once again it took me so long thank you guys for watching peace